today's video we're going to learn a little bit about the Schick Golden 500 and Schick injector razors in general. If you like the sounds of that, stay tuned and let's do some learning. Greetings friends and welcome to my kitchen table with me, J Mac, the Red Island Shaver and yes, the Schick Golden 500, an incredible, incredible injector, just absolutely stunning. There's something I can't usually do in the den with my lighting is get that beautiful Golden 500 logo in there. An incredible razor. This is one of the J series. These were made back in uh, 1958 to 1964 as part of the long progression of Schick razors. These actually were manufactured right up to 1998, I do believe, uh, with the Type O. And that is where uh, production for the Schick injectors ceased as they moved on to... Um, cartridge razors just like every everybody else but let's uh, back up a little bit go right back to the start and Schick was created by Lieutenant Colonel Jacob Schick who was uh, taking a break from military service and uh, he was working on a mining claim up in Alaska and BC trying to get some shaves in trying to do some dry shaving that wasn't working out very well for him so he invented the type A Schick which is the magazine repeater very reminiscent to the semi-automatic firearms that he would have used during his military service which was really cool that razor head it folds up it goes into the into the body of the razor itself you pull a plunger in the bottom you inject your blade and then uh, you rotate the head out and you shave they're very very cool they are out there you can find them if you can get the magazines it's even cooler so he uh, he worked on that and then he sold the rights to the uh, to Schick to American Chain and Supply, who then came out with the Model D, and that was uh, when this head design was was uh, invented. So not this exact head, but this general shape, the T shape they call it, with the key on the side for your blade injecting goodness which is still the cool part of these razors you don't have to touch the blade if you don't want to you put your key in slide a new blade in it pops the old one out and if you uh hold that over your blade bank you can just shuck it right into your blade bank so america chain and company uh built razors for a while then they sold to eversharp eversharp then uh sold uh or i don't know if they sold but they kept manufacturing until schick made their own plant in connecticut and then uh, all the production started going there. And then they just started uh, coming out with razor after razor after razor after razor. Like I said, there's been a ton of different models of Schicks. There's really one out there for, for everybody and one with uh, their particular aesthetics. So getting back to the Golden 500, it's like I said, this is a J-Series. The J-Series have the, the longer ribbed rubber handle and the familiar T style, this one's plated in gold. There's four in the J series. Um, and if you find like a J3, it's identical to this. It just, it's not in gold, but it's the exact same razor. And they feature this really, really cool function. And that is the little lever here, the Hydro Magic lever. It uh, failed me for a second there. That What that does is it opens up the head easier lather there's a little pin that will come in there and it will hold the blade in place so the blade doesn't fall out blade ain't going anywhere and then you just gently lock it back down into place do you want to be careful when you're finding vintage razors with these though you want to make sure that that mechanism is good not corroded because it can get bad from what I've been told and what I've read online and you could go to flick that open lock it back down into place and then uh it just falls apart and your razor is no good so i'm very 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 gentle with this like i said this is a vintage razor it was used but it was taken very very good care of as you can see the gold plating on this is just immaculate and i got to give a shout out to dk uh i found this online in the states tk said send it to me i sent it to him he polished it all up inspected it and then he shipped it out to me um it's the only Schick I have, and to be honest, this was like almost like a Schick killer. It's such a good shave. These J-Series razors are incredible. They're, I find them very mild, 
uh, but super efficient. So for me, the best of both worlds, you get a nice mild shave with it, but it's a super efficient shave. Uh, not a lot of blade feel, and the blade feel you do feel is, is good. So it's clamped in there nice and tight, and an injector blade is a thicker blade. It just gets the job done. It just mows through the whiskers. The only downside that people can find with the injectors is your lack of blade choices. There's only maybe three or four different types of blades you can buy for these. That being said, the yellow box injector blades you can buy on Amazon, they seem to work fine. They're a great shaving blade. And if you don't have an injector in your collection, you really should look at getting at least one. A very underlooked shaving tool but a very incredible shaving tool um so many people just absolutely love them i know i'm always on the hunt for more i would probably get a j3 uh, i've been looking at j3s trying not to pull the trigger but you never know just because i i love this one so much i'd love to have the matching razor in nickel so that does it for this one guys just another short little sit down video talking about uh you know the shicks and uh, a little bit short history on them. Probably glossed over a few things there, but my memory can only retain so much, and I do all this from memory. So, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Do appreciate it, and I'll let you go for now. So, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Need better shave. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.